as women over 40 wanting to stay healthy, young and vibrant, you might be wondering about supplements. Do you actually need them? Joining us now to talk more about this is Robin Walsh. She's a naturopathic doctor and nutritionist. Robin, you know, our 30s, our 40s, getting into our 50s, what are we missing from our diets and, and what impact would that have? Yeah, so I'll kind of pick what I think are the top three deficiencies that most women in this category would experience. And the number one on the top of my list is vitamin D. Um, so vitamin D, we test all the time, vitamin D, and I would say most people come back either deficient or really suboptimal. And it is kind of like the miracle sort of support. It's actually considered to be more of a pro-hormone than a vitamin. Um, it's involved in everything from mood to bone to hormone regulation to insulin regulation. Um, and it's really hard to find in foods. So it is in some foods, but very little. We usually synthesize it from the sun. So I think that's a really important one. And I suggest that most women get tested um, to make sure and figure out what dosage they need. Second one I would say would be omega-3. Um, so omega-3 is not produced by our body. It has to be obtained from the diet. So yes, things like fish um, are high, things like flax and chia also high, but our body has to convert that to that active ingredient EPA, DHA. So really fish is where it's at and we're just not eating enough of it. Um, and it's really important for, again, everything really, inflammation, aging, skin health, hormones, um, so that's a really another one that I focus on, on uh, thinking that people are kind of low in. And the third one that's really, I think, probably really crucial in this age category is magnesium. So um, when we think about stress, magnesium is the most important nutrient that is involved in managing or helping our bodies to manage stress. And when we become stressed, we become deficient in magnesium. So it's sort of that vicious cycle. Uh, low levels of magnesium can present with more anxiety, more sleeplessness, and especially PMS. And I just think this generation, um, busy, usually working, kids, maybe aging parents, it's just a really um, crucial uh, time for our stress hormones to be managed. Yeah, and you know, uh, so many effects of not having these things. It could be possible then that all someone would need to do was start to incorporate some of these things into their diet. Yeah, really for sure. Parents, right? For sure. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Now, now, not all supplements are created equally, though. Equally, though. What, what kinds of things do we run into when yeah, we're looking so, for quality and cheapness and all of that stuff? Yeah, exactly. Um, so I should, I guess, say, like, before taking anything, talk to your doctor or your healthcare practitioner. But if you were to go and look for something in terms of supplements, I think definitely um, you want to look for fillers because that will really tell whether a supplement is quality or not. Um, everything will have a filler. Unfortunately, that's just the way they have to make it. Um, but usually if it's a quality product, it might have like a vegetable glycerin capsule and maybe some magnesium stearate, which is just sort of what um, kind of helps keep the machine from allowing these supplements to move through. Um, but when you look at some supplements that may be a little bit less expensive or maybe on sale, um, you might see up to eight to 10 fillers in that product, um, which is just gonna dictate whether that um, sort of supplement is, is quality or not. The second thing I would also kind of comment on is, is fish oil. So, if, if any of you have had sort of the privilege of having fresh fish, you would know that that fresh fish doesn't really taste um, or smell all that fishy. Um, it's really as that fish uh, or that oil becomes oxidized that we get that really sort of strong fishy smell. And it's the same with the fish oil capsule. So um, if you were to poke a hole in that fish oil capsule, and have a, have a smell, if it smells really rancid and fishy, um, that's probably not the best or, or cleanest quality product. Okay, really good tip. So let's review those once again. So your little list of essentials uh, for women late 30s, 40s, 50s is what we've got? So I would say vitamin D for sure yes. and omega. And I really, for most people, would put in magnesium. The other thing I kind of tend to supplement with now is collagen. Um, oh, so wow. collagen okay. production reduces after the age of 25. It really will reduce after menopause. Um, but it's our structure, our skin, our hair, our nails. A lot of women are always looking to optimize those, but especially our joints and our bones. And so I think the earlier we can get that product in, it's it's super easy, like a scoop added to um, you know, your smoothie or even coffee people are putting it in. Um, that's another one that I often will recommend for, for this population. We, we need to be careful with collagen where we're getting it from though, correct? 
Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So definitely making sure you're sourcing sort of that organic um, bovine or, or a marine. I kind of like bovine better. But yes, making sure those good quality sources are there are very important. OK. And just finally, interactions we need to be concerned with, you know, mixing, you know, medications. Yeah, that. like I would definitely always sort of suggest you talk to a healthcare provider because there are certain medications that you shouldn't supplement with or you have to be careful on. There's dosing that you have to be aware of. Um, but, you know, most of the time they're fairly well tolerated. And I think probably the biggest issue with all of them may be a bit digestive, um, but usually they're fairly well tolerated. OK, great information. Robin, where can we get in touch with you? Um, yeah, so my website, um, we're, we're in Waterloo. Uh, that is our website address. You can contact us through there. Wonderful. Okay, thank you so much. Always Thank you for having me. And great to speak That's with great. you. Take care. Take bye. care. Bye. bye.